Hi. So I do a lot of tarot classes, and uh, one of the first things that I teach people that I, I think it's important to share with everyone who's getting started, who's trying to figure out what to do with tarot, how, how to read tarot, is that there are no rules. There's no rules. There's no rules. There doesn't have to be rules. The, the only rules that may exist are the ones you set for yourselves. This is very, um, for those of you learning about the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Swords shows, depending on which deck you're looking at, someone who is constricted, bound by their own um, challenges that they could easily shake off, shake loose, run out of, step around, uh, whatever's in their way. It, they can find their own way out. Uh, so the rules are self-imposed. The, the rules are uh, only set by you. And we find those in different ways. For example, um, there must be a right way to read the card. There must be a single uh, meaning for what this card is uh, from the Light Seer's Tarot. There, there, there must be an answer when I lay down cards that... Uh, that is going to find its way to me. There must be a way to lay them out. There must be a single source of truth that uh, is the deck that is going to tell me what all the answers are. No, none of this is a thing. None of this is a thing. Um, we're looking for a way to control the uncontrollable. You're looking for a way to decision the impossible. The experience that tarot is when it is without rules, is boundless. It is full of opportunity and, um, and play and excitement and as endless. It is endless. Uh, so rules, the rules you're looking for are the restrictions uh, that can hold you back. The rules that you are looking for are the guideposts in the bowling alley, those, those rails that keep the bowling ball down the, <laughs> the chute, down the lane, so that it hits the pins. So in the beginning, when you're getting started, giving yourself a set of boundaries might be helpful to know where to start and how to guide yourself. But then those rules have to go away. For some, not having rules at the beginning is, is the freedom they need to learn something that is esoteric and accessible and seemingly arcane, uh, but is actually within us. It is wholly within us. Tarot is here. This is, you are tarot. You are it. <laughs> there. Done. That's all you need. <laughs> uh, the, the idea that the answers to tarot come in a book or a guide or from a person is to me ridiculous because the answers are everywhere. They are within you. They are external to you. They are in another person. They are in the connection we have with universe, people, uh, things, people, places. So to, ha to put rules on tarot, is to restrict it and hold it back from everything that it can be, especially when it is in your hands. When it's in your hands, it becomes what tarot is meant to be with you. It is the truest expression of you in a card. It is the truest expression of you in an image. It is the truest expression of you in how you interpret this cardboard and ink. So, tarot has no rules. And uh, in, in classes that I do, I go into some of those myths and expectations and rules, but I, I just wanted to express the idea that it doesn't have to have rules. Tarot is you. And what rules do you have about yourself?